Welcome and good morning to another edition of the Friday Morning Commute. This is your host, Rovin Doug, hitting the streets on his way to the office, and I hope everyone is having a an en- very enjoyable Friday morning uh, with most of you being out of school. Good morning, Kick. I wasn't able to see who the other person was. I just want to say that happy June to everyone. This is a very special month to me. I've got a couple family members whose birthday is this month, my birthday is this month, and I also got married in this month, and I have one of my daughters born in this month. So it's going to be an exciting month. I'm really looking forward to it, hoping to have a lot of fun. Now let's get down to it. I know why you're all here. Usually it's just to see me talk, because let's face it, Zer does not bring anything good. But uh, this week for the Titans, we have the ACD Zero Feedback Fence Gauntlets. Which look pretty sweet, I, 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 will, be, I will be honest. Uh, unfortunately, I only main Warlock, because that's the only one I have to level 40 of anything. And, uh, so, yeah. Then we, for the Hunters, we, for the Hunters, have the Graviton Forfeit. Had to look at my notes to make sure that was right. Yes, so the Graviton Forfeit Helmet. Pretty looking helmet, but it's for Hunters, so I really don't know what it does. It's the fact. And then for Warlocks, we have the Alchemist Raiment. Now, I really do enjoy this set of robes, body armor, for the Warlocks. If I remember correctly, if you hold on to your super, it grants extra stability, which is great when running the Tlaloc Scout Rifle, and makes that thing as stable as all get out. And the forfeit gives you Shade Step, so that's, that's very nice to know means you can shade step without having shade step which is really nice now for the fusion rifle lovers of the world we do have the plan c as the exotic weapon of this week i do enjoy myself a plant one of the first exotics i ever got in destiny running vault of glass for the first time nonetheless was a plan c fusion rifle uh it was my staple fusion rifle for a little bit um it's still just a fun fusion rifle i find myself anymore leaning towards sniper or fusion as my secondary weapon because let's face it you have to be too up close and personal with a shotgun yeah so in any case if you are looking for a year one body armor then Zer is a bringer of joy for you today because he has the legacy exotic body armor engram for sale Remember, these are only for year one exotic body armors and are weighted towards the one that you currently do not own. So, make sure if you're buying it, you're buying it for the right reasons and not just to say, hey, what's this? Oh, it gave me this. This is garbage. <laughs> it is a waste of coins, but if you're desperate, it's a higher chance to get something you currently don't own, which is something that you just have to weigh the odds on you know if you have a hundred thousand strange coins i'm sure there's somebody out there then that would be the way to go now looking back at the week we had iron banner wrap up at reset now if you remember iron banner started last week with a day late presence maybe it was a couple weeks no it was last week yeah it was last week and this is due to a rocket heavy ammo cocoon glitch on rockets with cocoon. Short story, everything took a week hiatus, but Lord Saladin was given the AOK, the permission to buzz the tower per se, and landed a day late for Iron Banner. Now, there's still a lot of plenty of Iron Banner action going on. It was control. So all that fun zone action going on. And I actually got to play some of the Iron Banners with people. And it was a lot of fun. First time I'd ever really spent time in Iron Banner. Got to rank 3. Which made me happy because I've never gotten to rank 3 in Iron Banner before. Um, True is Xbox. But I tried a little bit of PlayStation. Had a little bit of fun. But uh, it was... We just weren't winning the matches like we needed to. So... No, wait, hold on. I got to rank 3 on my PlayStation. I got to rank 2 on my Xbox. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. 
my lower level character, I got to rank 3 instead of my high. And anyways, so it helped me get one of my characters a little bit higher light, which is always nice. Now, if you read Bungie's weekly updates, I still call it the Bungie weekly update, even though its new name is technically This Week at Bungie. You'll know that we have a, spe a sneak peek, a special preview of what's coming in the fall for us next Wednesday. Wednesday the 9th. And you don't want to miss it. So it's going to be at 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, noon Central, and 1 p.m. Eastern. We're going to get a sneak peek at what this next expansion is, what this next chunk of content is, if the name is really Rise of Iron, which, let's be honest, if it is, that's going to be an awesome name. Awesome. Especially if it keeps that cover art that was leaked. Really looking forward to it. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. This is actually going to be one live stream I'm hoping to be able to catch. The others I haven't really been able to because of stuff's going on, but I may, I may make this work. Now, with that being said, we need to keep in mind expectations because I think, as is the case with a lot of games, we can get too hyped as a community for the game, and then we, when we get the game, either the initial expectations are met, but the long-term ones are let down. And Something I've learned from Destiny that is probably something most people need to realize is the developers may give you up front what you want, but long term there's going to be some back and forth on the longevity of the content given. Now, I will be honest, I have not completed all of the Taken King content. It's only recently that I've even done the King's Fall raid. I mean, literally three weeks ago I hadn't done the raid. I go sit and lurk in Jay Sniperton's chat and go, oh, let's go throw some coins out for this raid. You know, maybe I'll get lucky. Wasn't expecting to get lucky. Of course, I get in. I'm like, okay. He's like, so this is speedrunning to be 320. Need to know what's going on. I'm like, mm. yeah, Jay, that's not me. Pick someone else. He's like, well, do you want your coins back or do you want to? want a, a guaranteed spot next time I'm like let's do the guaranteed spot so ends up I did the raid took about three hours with him uh, but did the raid enjoyed it um, and then I was able to run with one of his mods again about a week and a half later and you know instead of being three hours it's like an hour and a half two hours so I'm cutting my time down a little bit it was enjoyable had a lot a lot of fun but there's still parts of the Taken King that I'm still exploring. And to be honest, I haven't even done it with more than just a Warlock. PlayStation and Xbox, I only have Warlocks that are high enough level. I mean, my wife has a Hunter on my Xbox that she needs to play more of. But I need to get back to streaming so I can use that as streaming and or, uh, follower incentives. <laughs> But the moral of the story is, if you're going to casually game, then most of the content that's released is going to be plenty enough for you. Exactly, exactly, Kick. Streaming is awesome. But if you, if you're going to sit down for a weekend, a week, two weeks, a month, play this game for eight hours straight or more, and expect the content to last six to eight months on something that is RNG based but is not a complete RNG system, then you, you're fooling yourself. I mean, I think Bungie with The Taken King did a great job at giving us 
a decent amount of content to last us through at least January, if not February, of after it's released. So that's September, October, November, December, you know, close to six months worth of content. And most people were through it in a week. I mean, really? Now, this being said, it doesn't, this doesn't, inf it d doesn't reflect the normalcy, not the normalcy, the, I would say the median amount of players, but it is an issue with those, with about greater than a half of the community that are really interested in this game and want to play it so much that they unlock everything so quickly and then they're like, wait, that was it? Really? Really? So I'm really excited about what's coming up. The influence of the Iron Lords, if this is the case, on this next piece of content is going to be very interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play the lore out for this next expansion or release of content. Expansions anymore are almost marketing gimmicks. I like to call them release of content because it just tell <clears throat> tells you that you're going to be getting something. A, it sets my expectations to be okay, I'm looking at you know, maybe a map, maybe a few more story missions, maybe some cool gear, and then anything on top of that is bonus. And it allows the developers to exceed expectations, which I feel that in the video game community, we seem to see the opposite of this more. Us as the gamers have our expectations set nearly to the heavens, and you know, the developers deliver something that is, you know, suborbital. Which, not to say that it's subpar in any way, it actually beats the majority of normal expectation people, expectations out of the water, but us as the invested gamers are like, okay, this was good, but where's all this stuff that we were, you know, expecting, we were hyped about? And then we have this dialogue between the community and the developers that turns negative and toxic and is just not, doesn't benefit anyone in the community. So I'm not, Bungie's one of the small, and the small percentage of develop, video game developing community, or video game development companies, there we go, get out what I'm trying to say. Uh, one of the few companies that has a very active back and forth with the community. Now, like everyone, they have place, have time whenever they are lax and they're back and forth, but all in all, I'm really excited. <sighs> I seem to get to work faster and faster every time. I hope you guys have a great Friday. It's going to be a fun weekend, I hope, for everyone. As always, thanks for stopping by. My name is Roven Doug, or Doug, or Hey You, or Ghost, or Halo's Ghost, or Halo Space Ghost. Space Ghost. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys have a great time. If you're watching this on Periscope, please give me a follow so you can see whenever I go live through the Periscope app. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to click the subscribe button below. I try to do at least a weekly video of this, which is my Friday morning commute. A lot of fun. I love it. A lot of fun. Uh, the social media links are going to be in the description below. But if you're looking for me on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube or Periscope, all under the same username of Roven Doug. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for stopping by. And, as always, I will see you, Starside Guardians. <laughs>